let's sketch the rectangle and we'll sketch it on the XY plane and before I start uh, doing my sketch it's a good idea to check that your units are set to uh, meters which is the um, unit system we want to use and we will sketch on the XY plane so highlight XY plane look at plane so we're looking at the XY plane go into the sketching tab I like to check that auto constraints are turned on so go to constraints and if I scroll down here make sure they're turned on and version 15 they were not turned on by by default and that can create issues go into the draw toolbar select rectangle hover around the origin until you see the P and the P means that the cursor is coincident with the origin and that's what the auto constraints does and then starting at the origin drag the cursor and draw a rectangle let's dimension the rectangle so I'll go under dimensions toolbar and if I click on this I can put in a horizontal dimension if I click on this, I can put in a vertical dimension. My horizontal dimension is equal to the length of the pipe that we are simulating, that's three meters. And the vertical dimension is equal to the radius of the pipe, which is 0.1 meters. And if I say zoom to fit, okay, um, I see my the rectangle that I want I can, I like to drag so let's uh, we can move our dimensions so select under dimension select move and move these dimensions and again I can say zoom to fit um, or you can zoom in you know using the the right uh, mouse button and drawing a rectangle I want to go back to the previous view so I'll go back to the previous view here I like to display the the values so I'll say display and I will uncheck name and display the value so you can see you know the values show up here so we have the um, we have sketched in the rectangle these are lines and points what we want is an area um, and so next we need to convert this into an area that's that's the next step 